What's going on, everybody? Mike Samich coming at you for RacingDudes.com, and I'm here to preview Saturday's Rodeo Drive Stakes over at Santa Anita, grade one, one mile and a quarter, over the turf course. Got a seven-horse field here. We're going to start out with the two-horse Fluffy Socks, your favorite for the Chad Brown Horn. Chad Brown Barn. Fluffy Socks has been phenomenal here in the four-year-old season. Uh, started out a little bit slowly, then built it up and back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back grade threes. Ran very well in the grade two Boston Spa last time out. Just missing the technical analysis around five to one. Chad Brown calls on the services of Joe Bravo for this spot. Could be very, very tough in here. Fluffy Socks looks like a, a strong contender. Right to Fluffy Socks is outside. Five to two, going to Vegas. It's interesting. Is the California horse run at Santa Anita 14 times, five wins, six seconds, likes the distance, four races, two wins, two seconds. It's D'Amato. It's Rispoli. It makes a ton of sense. But there's not many maces on the page that really beats your favorite here in Fluffy Sox. So I think going to Vegas at five to two, a little bit short from a price perspective. Um, the five horse Nage Blanche, I think, is interesting here specifically because this is the other horse that's got some tactical speed, uh, has been forwardly placed in races around this distance and at Santa Anita. Four for nine career at Santa Anita, but only one for eight for the distance. And to me, that's a key here for both Leonard Powell and Hernandez. It's how to get this distance here for Naj Blanche is five to one on the morning line. Last one I want to talk about is all the way on the outside, the seven horse family way for the Brandon Wel Walsh barn. Got Mike Smith aboard, been running in graded stakes, last eight races here, all graded stakes. Horse loves to run second. That's the main problem. Six starts this year, hit the board every single time, but four of those were second place finishes. Just one win. That was in the grade three orchard, which was by far the weakest field that Family Way has faced before coming in here. Uh, to me, this is a two horse race. I think Family Way has a ton of talent, ton of ability, makes sense in this spot. The numbers fit, but Fluffy Socks is just a little bit better. So I think Family Way ends up running second here as well. I'm going to go with the two fluffy socks on top and give me the two seven exact to Cole. I think these two horses ship in and take care of business here at Santa Anita and the grade one Rodeo Saturday from Santa Anita Park. Thank you very much for checking out this preview of the Rodeo. Make sure you check out RacingDudes.com for previews of all the major stakes races coming up on this very busy weekend leading into the Breeders' Cup. And make sure you're checking out Dudes Who Bet Daily every Wednesday through Sunday, noon Eastern, for our best bets from the sports and horse racing world. We'll see you at the track.